example is test 10 as described by the International Maritime Organization. It is a cabin corridor. There's 23 occupants. There are 12 cabins and some of the occupants will leave off of the main exit and some will leave off of the secondary exit. The typical room size is 3 by 5 meters with a 90 centimeter door and the a 90 centimeter wide uh, hallway. Okay, so we have started Pathfinder. The first thing we do is click on SI to get the SI unit system. We'll click View and Edit Snap Grid. Make sure that we have our snap grid set to one meter. I will now go into the top view and let's zoom out here just a little bit so that I have room in order to draw my rooms. I click on the Add Room tool and then with a click and drag motion I draw a 3 by 5 room. Now with that selected I will click on the Copy tool. We'll make five copies and we'll move each of them three meters in the X direction. And so there I have my six cabins at the bottom of the model. Now we will click on the rectangular room tool again and let me double click on it to make it sticky. And now I'm going to add the hallway and I'm going to type this number in because it has a unit that is not an, integer, an even integer. So it goes from zero in the X, five in the Y, to 18 in the X and 5.9 meters in the Y. So that's the hallway and let's add another one. The, this will go from 6 meters in the X, 5.9 in the Y, to 7.2 in the X and 10.9 in the Y. I will use I'll make my selection with the selection tool. Holding the control key down, I select that the, both of the hallways. I right click, I hit merge, and now those have been turned. Instead of their two separate rooms, they're one now one room. Now let's use copy again. I'm going to hold the control key down. I will select these rooms, and we'll say copy. We're going to make one copy, and we're going to move it in the y direction, 5.9 meters. I say copy, there's my other rooms, and finally we'll make this one small room, this one smaller room, and it will snap to the corners of the other rooms. So now we are done uh, creating our room, let's just zoom in here a little bit, and there is our model. The next thing we have to do is add doors be from the rooms into the hallway, and also add exit doors to the model. So let's double click on our door tool. We'll set the maximum width to 90 centimeters. And now we'll start to draw doors. So I'll click here. So each of these doors is now 90 centimeters wide. and now we have all the doors. And let me go ahead and do one more thing here. I'm going to add the exit door. I'll click and drag completely across the hallway. That will make one of my doors and this is going to make the second exit door. Any door that is not connected to another room is by default an exit. Well, let's go and first of all just rename, use the selection tool. I'm going to select my first exit door. That's going to be named main exit. I will select my second exit door and that is going to be secondary exit. We're going to direct some of the occupants to different uh, exits. One small detail that I will mention, in the problem specification the 90 centimeter wide doors are, told, are specified to be exactly centered across this three meter wide room. Well, what that means is that the corner of this door should really be click here. Now what I've done is I've selected the coordinate of the corner of the door and that should really be at 1.05 meters and so we can make that change. 
we could go through the entire model and make those changes but since I don't think it would change the result at all we will not do that now let's go and add some occupants so I'll double click on the occupant tool and I'm just going to start positioning these occupants randomly two occupants per room and I will save the room in the upper right corner one occupant in the small room and then these occupants in those rooms will be actually going to the secondary exit let's expand this out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the occupants except for the last four occupants so I did a click held down the shift key and a click at the end of the list and I will tell them to go to the main exit I now select the other four occupants and they're going to go to the secondary exit so now we've defined the geometry we've added our occupants we've told them where to go the only thing we have left to do is to define the simulation parameters and we will use the steering behavior for this model so I hit OK and now I'm ready to solve the problem we will call this IMO 10 I hit save and now the problem is running and by default the 3D results window starts up the 3D display starts up at the end of the analysis so let's go ahead and zoom in here a little bit and let us change the agents to be shown as people and there is now our model with the occupants in their initial positions in the room so we just hit the play key and we can watch the people you notice that these some of the occupants are going off the secondary exit most of the occupants are going out the primary exit and you can see them walk out the hall and leave the model